Hello guys, um, today I want to talk about the commodity channel index indicator which is one of my favorite indicators for gauging the gold and silver market. So basically the um, commodity channel index or SSI is a moment momentum based oscillator that can help you determine when gold or silver or another commodity is reaching a condition of being overbought or oversold. It is also used to assess price trend direction and strength. This information can allow you to determine whether you want to enter or exit a trade, refrain from making a trade or add to an existing position. So how does it work? Well, when the SSI is above zero, it indicates the price is above the historic average. When the SSI is below zero, it indicates the price is below the historic average. A reading of 100 or above, for example, indicates the price is well above the historic average and the trend has been strong to the upside. It also means that the commodity is overbought. A reading below minus 100, for example, indicates the price is well below the historic average and the trend has been strong to the downside. It also means that the commodity is oversold. Now, going from negative or near zero readings to positive 100 can be used as a signal to watch for an emerging uptrend. Going from positive or near zero readings to minus 100 may indicate an emerging downtrend. Now, by default, uh, in, in barchart.com, the indicator comes with a period of 20, overbought value of 100, and oversold value of minus 100. So if we look at the price of gold right now in British Pound, we can see that right now is a really good time to buy gold because the price of gold went down. Um, right now gold is in a oversold territory. Um, well, this happened because the news about the new vaccine came about and as a result that um, gave a boost for investors, um, gave a boost to, gave a boost of confidence to the investors and therefore the stocks, the FTSE, um, DAX, Dow Jones, all of these indexes, um, they all went up and gold went down. But even if you didn't know about that, this indicator shows you what is happening without you knowing what is happening. Uh, anyway, so now um, personally I prefer um overbought and oversold values of 100 um, to minus 200 and um, the reason why I do that is because this allows me to see both of the extremes uh, in both territories um, when the price of gold or silver is super cheap or is super expensive and I can see that and that's when I like to buy and sell now this also allows me to compensate a little bit for the inherent lag that this indicator has for example rallies to 100 or minus 100 that signal a new trend is arriving 
comes too late they come too late and um, as the price has ha has its run it's starting to correct already so this kind of incidents are called whipsaws whereby a signal is provided by the indicator but the price doesn't follow through after that signal and uh, money is lost on that trade so but by having it in 200 and minus 200 you kind of compensate for that so you can use the same thing for silver as well um, which I have right here so this is barchart.com so Let me try to find it here. All right. So yeah, here it is. So right now, basically want to hold on right now. You shouldn't be buying or selling silver. Just wait for 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 the signals to appear and um, basically you can use this as a trader or or a stacker like me um, I stack physical gold and silver and this is one of the indicators that I use to help me determine when I should enter when I should buy when I should um, sell so right now it's screaming at us to to buy gold right now so um, if the price of gold goes up it's probably gonna go up because of the effects of all this money printing and that all these central banks did globally uh, we still haven't felt the effects of it yet, but once we w once we get that, you'll see the price of gold going up. But I think that will be the main reason why gold will go up in the um, near future. Um, even if you didn't know that, even if you didn't know about the money supply increase, the inflation, what central banks are doing. This indicator will help you under will help you understand what you need to do in those circumstances. So yeah, that's about it. Um bye.